early in life in school you kind of have a lot of subjects thrown at you and some things feel more intuitive and more interesting than others. If you knew Ryan Golden is a little boy in Dublin, Georgia, you wouldn't be surprised to see him here as an adult. For me, science was one of those classes that I really enjoyed. The desire for discoveries in his DNA. You realize you have this interest in science, but you want to be able to apply that to help bettering people's lives. Golden is one of roughly 10 students selected from around the world every year for the prestigious medical scientist training program at UT Southwestern Medical Center. These students gain rigorous clinical and research experience to achieve an MD from UT Southwestern Medical School and a PhD from the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences. Being it with good mentors and good peers, it teaches you how to push yourself more. And they're obviously a big part of the success that any one individual has on this campus. Among the faculty and mentors at the Graduate School are Nobel laureates, members of the National Academy of Sciences and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, as well as investigators of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, including Dr. Joshua Mendel. I approach my interactions with my students the way I approach my interactions with scientific colleagues. Dr. Mendel is a professor of molecular biology and oversees a lab aimed at better understanding how genes turn on and off in normal physiologic conditions and in diseases such as cancer. One of the pathways that we've been particularly interested in is a pathway that is called the microRNA pathway. In our body right now, we have thousands and thousands of proteins. Think of them as Santa's helpers or elves, and they have one job that they do, and they do it very well. Well, there has to be some sort of management. It kind of overlooks all of these uh, technicians in the cell. And so the microRNA pathway is a sort of dimmer switch that can dial up or dial down the activity of these individual proteins. Sounds pretty basic, but what Ryan uncovered was monumental. In the last three years, there's been a, a revolution in molecular biology in our ability to so-called edit the genome. And what Ryan did was he took advantage of this new technology to ask the question, what genes in our cells are necessary for this small RNA pathway? He was actually able to check over 20,000 genes in our genome to see whether they have a role in this pathway. So the more we know about how these microRNAs are regulated at a normal level, uh, I think the more we can learn about how to intervene when things go awry in disease. His meticulous work and dedication led to a research paper in the prestigious journal Nature and landed him the 2017 Nominata Award. The Nominata Award is the top honor that the graduate school at UT Southwestern bestows upon um, PhD trainees. Being a graduate student at UT Southwestern, it's not like sitting in a classroom and it's not a passive learning experience. It is active learning how to do science, but, but equally important, experiencing the thrill of science. A thrill fueling the desire to dig deeper and find solutions to today's greatest health challenges. A lot of the work you do in basic science doesn't necessarily directly go right into some new treatment or some new diagnostic tool, but there are these events that happen where we have breakthroughs because people are doing very basic research. That is the most exciting thing about doing science, is actually getting to experience discovery at the most primary level, to know something about nature that nobody else in the world knows. And when you're a student, you're on the front lines, you get to experience that, and that is incredibly exciting.